Okay, so uh, I am leaving a place where I typically go to buy all my tractor and hydraulic fluid and uh, oil and everything. I used to get this at the somewhat local to me tractor supply store until I go in there one day to buy some stuff and for no apparent reason whatsoever, every single piece, every single drop of oil in that aisle just about now costs like a solid third more to 50% more. And so I started coming to this store, which is kind of a waste for me. So anyway, long story short, to make the trip worthwhile, and because I'm trying to get everything ready for the year, I just bought like a, probably a solid 50 gallons of oil here. And so here's what I've learned from this. Everybody tells you, you know, when you buy a tractor or a piece of machinery, you really need to get a manual for it. And they tell you the reason why is because it's, it's better for the machine that way. Because you look at the manual and it says you do this every 100 hours or that every 120 hours. And it's good for the machine, makes the machine last longer. And this is true. I don't doubt that. But the main reason why you need to do this is because it's good for your own sanity. <sighs> Let me tell you guys this whole story here. So I, I'm trying to change the oil in the transmission to rear end in one of my tractors and I don't really know what oil it takes because you know I found the original manufacturer specification but you know that manufacturer has been bought out multiple times by now and it's like a 70 year old oil specification so obviously they change and that's not really that big of a deal I mean they're stuff that old usually isn't really all that picky. But the main problem is I have no idea how much oil goes in this thing. I really don't. When I got it, it was full of rank, disgusting filth. So I drained all that out. I filled it up with diesel fuel to like loosen all the sediment and everything and scrub it out. And I've been driving it around. I'm going to drain that out and put some proper oil in it. So how many gallons of oil does such and such hold? You know, uh, oil capacity, transmission, such and such series of tractor. All these different things I search with one outcome. And that is pages and paid literally like one thread alone was four solid pages of people arguing between the two different kinds of like aftermarket oil that are supposed to replace whatever and it is mind-numbing i'm pretty sure i suffered brain damage from going through all this i mean it, <laughs> it was like oh you know they say this oil has been superseded by oil a and oil b well i tell you what i put oil a in my machine it was fine so you're a fool if you put oil b in yours no i talked to mechanic a and he said to put fluid b in and my uncle larry agreed with him oh yeah well i tell you what you don't know what you're talking about because i talked to mechanic b and he said to put fluid a in it and and my uncle jeff agreed with him or my personal favorite oh yeah i changed the oil of my tractor and i put uh you know generic fluid a in this and it is capable of completing a menial low demand job on that tractor so you should never put fluid bit it's just pages and pages i went through that four page thread and probably i kid you guys not i I probably spent a solid 20, 30 minutes digging through all of this stuff, and I still have absolutely no idea in any way, shape, or form how much oil the rear end in this tractor takes. I eventually just decided, you know what? Life's too short, and I bought two buckets, and I'm hoping for the best. And if it takes more, I guess I'll go buy more. <sighs> yeah, so that was... <laughs> Honestly, what it reminds me of is when I bought a new tractor a uh, handful of seasons ago now and uh, I wondered how it would do running a very specific implement. I said, no, it's really not very specific. It's, it's probably one of the most common kinds of implements people run with uh, utility sized tractors. And it's the same thing. You get on there and there's people arguing back and forth. Their replies like, Oh, I know you want to know how this tractor will do running that implement. Well, I don't know, but I have a completely different other tractor and I run a completely different other implement and it does such and such with it. So thus this combination will do so and so. You don't know that. <sighs> don't get me wrong, guys. There is a wealth of information out there on the internet. People have helped me tremendously, which I'm exceedingly grateful for over the years. But man, some of this stuff, get yourself a manual and save yourself from a lot of forum scrolling. And it's not even expensive. Now, of course, I say these things. I don't even have mine on me. I'm like, I'm pretty positive it says the capacity for the rear end, the transmission in this thing. But of course, it's back at the shop because I, I didn't think to look at it before I left today. But 
you know, any old tractor I have, I don't, I don't think I've spent more than $20 getting a manual that's either a factory manual, like straight up 50 years old, it's been sitting on some dude's shelf all this time, or a reprint of the factory manual. And to be honest, even better, most things nowadays, you can get them for free. Uh, people will send around PDF scans of manuals. I may or may not have one for my because a very based viewer, uh, basically he said, I work at the service department such as, oh, you guys don't need to know the full story, but basically I may or may not have like the full service manual for that tractor, which you're not supposed to give out. Uh, but the point is, like that Zetter 7711 and the Ford 821 and the John Deere A and the Farmall, you can find manuals for all these things for free with a Google search. Then you just have it. There's really no excuse. And I say that, like I said, all that, that whole, all those shenanigans, I have the manual for that. I just, I didn't plan well enough to look. But my point is, get yourself one of these and save yourselves from a lot of trouble because, you know, pretty much everyone on the internet forums means very well. But if you got that one person who genuinely just doesn't know what they're talking about and anyone who spent any amount of time on an internet forum can tell you they are definitely out there and they tell you to put the wrong thing in your machine and it grenades a bearing or whatever, you know, that's that's on you at this point. You're, you're not getting anything out of that. And there's so many problems you can save with just getting the manual. So therefore, I will update my generic tractor buying advice to two things instead of just buying one thing. I used to say when you buy an old piece of machinery, the first thing you need to do is order a full gasket set. Because, especially on any of the tractors I named, it is not that expensive. And, um, and like once you need two specialty gaskets for the engine or whatever, you've paid for the entire engine gasket set and you still have like 29 more left. And uh, yeah, so now I'm gonna tell people, you gotta buy the full gasket set and you gotta acquire a manual. You can probably do it for free. <sighs> I feel much better after this rant because that was, that was really something else earlier. But hopefully I have enough oil for this now. So whatever, random video. Because especially on any of the tractors I named, it is not that expensive. And, um, and like once you need two specialty gaskets for the engine or whatever, you've paid for the entire engine gasket set and you still have like 29 more left. And uh, yeah, so now I'm gonna tell people, you gotta buy the full gasket set and you gotta acquire a manual. You can probably do it for free. <sighs> I feel much better after this rant because that was, that was really something else earlier. But hopefully I have enough oil for this now. So whatever, random video.